Morning, morning. Tuesday, the second of December. Youth Hostel, Sir Radford. The vine and the branches. Excuse me. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I found those words... Well, over 20 years ago, that great Portland Street Church in London on a postcard. There's more. (coughs) (coughs) It's sort of pretty self explanatory, really. So one goes through God's refining fire in life to become something, whatever, and as long as you remain in Christ, then you're worthwhile. And what you do is worthwhile. (coughs) As ever, I agonize about this, what fruit have I borne? Well, I've missed a few people along the way, but that is not enough. That is not enough. The sort of consolation, and it's not a cop-out, is that righteousness, to love God of itself, is a justification for one's life even if there are no works. But I simply cannot accept that I will not create something in this world. Beethoven created something of beauty. Vincent van Gogh too. Well, my soul hungers and thirsts for this as well. To make this world a better place for my passing. To let your light shine through me in this dark world. Into the red scarf, because I'm such a silly old bunny, aren't I? <laughs> this place is super. <laughs> the lawn's covered in little rabbits. <laughs> Well, I love you, my Lord, with all my heart, soul, mind and strength. I love you. I love you.